Hi there, it's Rob from Octopus here to walk you through our July 2017 release. Let's get started. We've got some great new features and updates this month. First up is a significant update to our multi-tenant deployments feature. You can now include tenanted machines in untenanted deployments. This was a scenario we missed when we first shipped multi-tenant support, and we'll take a deeper look into this a little bit later. Next up is Octopus Server Let's Encrypt in integration. This means you can easily add HTTPS to your Octopus server with a free auto-renewing certificate from Let's Encrypt. This is an awesome new feature that one of my teammates, Matt Richardson, built in his spare time for fun, and it's great. Another exciting side project, this time by my workmate, Mark Seidel, is OctoWatch. This is the first official Octopus Deploy mobile app for iOS. OctoWatch lets you easily monitor your Octopus servers on the go, watching your releases, machines, and server tasks. You can do it on the train, on the bus, or from the pub. Finally, we've included a few smaller but still important fixes. We've updated our security model by implicitly requiring the view permission if a matching edit or delete permission is added. This eliminates a number of security issues by preventing this odd combination. Additionally, we spent a bit of time reviewing the command line options for Octopus Server and Tentacle, making it easier to access help, commands are now more consistent, and it's a lot less noisy. This is a very nice improvement if you use the command line from time to time. Now, let's take a look at what's new in multi-tenant deployments. First, I'd like to quickly review multi-tenancy in general and how Octopus supports multi-tenant deployments. I'm on octopus.com docs looking at our multi-tenant deployment guide. This is a great guide that starts with some of the reasons why you'd want to use multi-tenancy and explores creating your first tenant, connecting it to your projects and environments, working with tenant-specific variables, tags, and more. So what is multi-tenancy? The way I think about it is that it's an architectural pattern for building apps so they can be used by multiple customers at the same time. I think the most common example of this is a SaaS application that can be rebranded for different customers, but behind the scenes, it's the same application. This is sometimes a single instance that is designed to handle mul multiple customers, or it could be multiple copies of the same application, customized for each customer. Octopus supports both of these scenarios, and it can really change the way you model your deployments. So let's take a look at an example. I have a local server set up with a few projects, and let's just take a tour around. So I have OctoFX, which is a SaaS application, and it requires tenants. It's designed to be deployed over and over for different customers to give them a trading platform. I also have OctoMail, which is just a simple web service which provides mail for other projects. So that could be OctoFX now and other projects in the future. I also have Telemetry. And the idea of this project is simply to be able to deploy a monitoring agent, like one for Datadog or New Relic, to all of my servers. Now, if we jump over to the tenants page, you can see I have two tenants. And you can also see I have two tenant tags. I have one that's a VIP customer, and I have another that's just a standard customer. If we jump over to our environments, I just have a dev and prod environment and dev has a single server that does everything, but production is a little more interesting. I have a mail server, which is a deployment target uh, for untenanted projects only, and it's used for being a mail server, but it also has the telemetry role, which, which means that I can deploy my monitoring agent to it. And if we look, we also have a pair of production web servers, and they both are tenanted deployment targets. One is for standard customers, and then there's a beefier machine for VIP customers, so they get better performance. But you can notice they also have the telemetry tag, which would mean we could now deploy our monitoring agent to these servers. 
So let's take a look at one of our web servers. So you can see this deployment target has standard settings. It does have a couple roles, but the big change is the tenant configuration. Previously, this had two options where a machine or a deployment target could be included or excluded from tenanted deployments. But now in Octopus 3.15, this can be mixed and matched where a machine can be included in both tenanted deployments and untenanted deployments. And this really unlocks this key scenario where you would have a, pro a common untenanted project that you want to deploy to all your servers, whether they're tenanted or untenanted. And this was a highly requested feature and we're happy to ship it this month. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try something mentioned in this video, head over to octopus.com downloads and grab the latest release. See you next month and happy deployments.